Uh, welcome back to the Keller Skills video series. Uh, we're in our basketball unit right now. We're going to talk about dribbling. So there's two types of dribbling. We could be uh, stationary. We could be moving. So we'll start with stationary. Let's assume uh, no one's guarding us. We're just going to dribble the ball. Basic, basic skill. Um, <coughs> excuse me. With the basic dribbling, we want to have a rounded hand. I do not want my hand flat. I want it round. Uh, I want my fingers open, not together. This whole idea is like I'm palming the basketball. I want to make sure that my hands have the ability to touch the biggest amount of surface area of the ball as possible. Uh, secondly, the ball needs to be touched with my finger pads, not my finger tips. So I don't want to touch with my nails. I want to touch with the fleshy part of my fingers. It's where my finger, um, where my uh, fingerprints are. Okay, next thing, I want to have a flexible wrist. So if I'm touching the ball here, I'm using my finger pads, I've got my fingers open, I've got a rounded hand. Now in order to push the ball down, I want to have a flexible wrist. I'm not pushing with my arm. My wrist is doing most of the movement. Um, I want to dribble with my hand, ideally, no higher than my waist. And at the same time, I want to be looking ahead. I don't want to be looking down at the ball. I want to see what's going on in front of me. So in this example, I'm looking at the camera. I might have my feet apart for stability's sake. Fingers open, hand rounded, touching the ball with my finger pads, using my wrist to push the ball down. As the ball comes up, I'm going to flex my wrist up. I can do the same thing with the other hand. Okay, so let's repeat. Rounded hand, open fingers, uh, ball touching your finger pads, not your fingertips. Uh, flexible wrist. Dribble with your hand no higher than your waist. And keep your eyes up. Keep looking forward. Now, that's with no one guarding me. Let's assume I have a defender here in front of me. I want to keep the ball away from that person. I do not want to dribble with the ball in front of me and the defender right in front of me. They will steal the ball. So now, all these methods that I just used... I want to do them, but I want to keep the ball away from the defender. So let's assume you, at the camera, you're the defender. I want to take the ball instead of being in front of me, and I want to put it to my side. And then I want to turn my body so that you are on my other side. So I'm dribbling the ball on my right, you are on my left. I can use my other arm as an arm bar just to create more space. I cannot push you, cannot do anything but I'm just creating a bigger halo, a bigger circle around myself. And now ideally, if I'm doing this dribble, maybe I want to get lower to the ground to make it harder for the defender to steal the ball. If the defender decides to come around me to try to steal, I can just turn. If they try to go behind me, I can turn the other way. I always want to keep the defender the farthest away from the ball as possible. Or in this case, I can keep the ball as far away from the defender as possible. Either way, I'm going to have myself between the ball and the person. I could do this with either hand, right-handed, left-handed. I could also just pick up the ball, and I could keep the ball away from the defender as well. But I, ideally, I want to keep my dribble alive. I want to keep dribbling, because what if there is no teammate of mine open, and I need to move somewhere? Okay, we just covered uh, dribbling stationary and dribbling with a defender while stationary. Now, if I want to move, usually you see somebody moving with the ball when they're bringing the ball from one end of the court to the other. In order to dribble in motion, I'm not going to dribble straight down. So right now, I'm dribbling straight down. Ball goes straight down, ball comes straight up. But when I move forward, the ball will still go straight up. And as I move forward, the ball will not come with me. I will need to push the ball forward in front of me so that as the ball goes down on an angle, it will come up on an angle. I can catch up to the ball. Example, I'm standing in this square. I'm going to dribble the ball in that square, and I will catch the ball further in front of me. The, further that, uh, the faster I'm going to move, the further in front of me I need to push the ball. Okay, so again, if I'm moving slowly, I don't need to push very far in front of me. But if I back up a little bit more and I want to go fast, 
I need to push the ball further in front of me in order to make that motion happen. Okay? And then everything comes back into play. If somebody guards me, I'm in motion, but somebody guards me, I'm going to take that ball and move it away from the defender so that I have ball, me, defender in, in a straight line. Okay, let's go over all of these keys we just talked about. So first, dribbling in one spot. Use a rounded hand. Open my fingers, so I do not want them closed. I want them open. The ball is going to touch my finger pads, not my fingertips. I want to have a flexible wrist. I want to dribble the ball with my hand ideally at waist level or lower. And I want to keep my eyes looking ahead. I don't want to look down. Uh, when someone's guarding me, I want to keep the ball away from the defender. So it's ball, me, defender, in a straight line. If I want to dribble in motion with or without a defender, or let's go without a defender, I want to then push the ball in front of me. And if I want to move fast, I need to push the ball even farther in front of me. But I'm still pushing the ball down. I'm not pushing it 15 feet in front of me. Two, three, four feet in front of me and the ball will bounce up. Okay, thank you again for uh, catching us on the Keller Skills video series. This was dribbling. Hope to see you back again soon.